As I said in this speech, that we are not looking for camp politics. Uh, we had historically excellent regime in the United States. The good army that we really have is largely built and trained by the United States. The best equipment that we have is the American equipment. We still have uh, deep cooperation with the United States and our Western friends. Uh, about a month back, the uh, American Air Force was here for a huge exercise with our Air Force. So we have great cooperation with the West. China, of course, uh, is our neighbor, is a very important neighbor, and has helped in, us in many ways. Our military cooperation is with China is growing because we are denied equipment from the West. Many of the equipment which were, you know, deals which were concluded have been cancelled. So we, what, what, what do we do? I'll just give you an example. We bought T129 helicopters from Turkey. It's a very good machine, and the deal was signed. It's a defensive weapon. It's a gunship, but the engine was of American uh, origin. So the Americans refused to give the third-party certification. So what do we do? Either we wait or go somewhere else. Either go to Russia or go to China. We will prefer to maintain a balance. Similarly, we are even making some aid submarines. And the German was supposed to give the engine and everything was done. And the last book, when the, the, the submarine was ready, the German refused to give us the engines. France has done the same, of course, under the Indian pressure, because the India is a big buyer. So what do you do? It is your responsibility to maintain the balance. If you are tilted towards one side uh, outrightly, uh, we'll find, you know, sources from where we can get uh, weapons to, uh, you know, save ourselves. So you need to you know, carry out uh, introspection whether your policy is right or not. We've been your allies for a very long time. We were part of CETO, CENTO, Baghdad Pact. We supported you in Vietnam. We supported you in Afghanistan. We helped you dismantle the earth while Soviet Union. And the muck that you created, we are still trying to clean that. You know. So, we have paid a lot of cost. Uh, what, what, are, what are you doing about us? The question, I, I must ask you the question. Are you maintaining a balanced approach or not? Uh, and uh, just to add on, you know, a lot of people talk about CPAC. Yes, CPAC is a very important uh, development. Uh, there was a problem in Pakistan that we had shortages of electricity. Huge shortages. Nobody was coming forward because there was a lot of terrorism. So Chinese stepped forward, they took the risk and they built these plants. But it doesn't mean that Pakistan is uh, no go for the regions. If you feel that there's too much of a Chinese influence in Pakistan, the only way you can counter is by bringing in the counter investment. Who stops you? We'll welcome uh, any investment. Few days back, uh, Barrick Gold, Barrick Gold has signed a deal uh, in which they're going to explore uh, a mine in, uh, in Bulus, a huge mine, copper mine. And Barrick Gold is a Canadian company, the Canadian ambassador is sitting here. So we will welcome investment and cooperation from the entire world.